Jeffrey Peter B. Hawk shot Oser, November 5, 1954, August 21, 2009, was an Australian classical pianist and composer. A child prodigy, he composed an opera at the age of eight, and became the youngest recipient of a Churchill Fellowship Award at 13. His career included tours of Europe, America, Australia and China, where he performed the Yellow River Concerto to an estimated audience of 80 million people. Tozer had more than 100 concertos in his repertoire, including those of Mozart, Beethoven, Liszt, Brahms, Tchaikovsky, Medner, Rachmaninoff, Bartok, Stravinsky, Prokofiev and Gerard. Tosa recorded for the Chandos label, beginning with the works of Metner. He was regarded as a superb recitalist and had the ability to improvise, transpose instantly and reduce an orchestral score to a piano score at sight. Tosa won numerous awards and much recognition worldwide, but suffered comparative neglect in Australia, during the last years of his life. Conceived in Tasmania, Tozer was born in 1954 at Mussoorie, a hill station in the Indian Himalayas. His mother was Veronica Tozer, née Hawkshaw, a gifted musician and pianist who had become a music teacher to support herself and her two sons after her separation and subsequent divorce from Colonel, later Major General, Donald Tozer. In the summer of 1954 she visited Tasmania to recover from a serious medical condition. There she met Geoffrey Conan Davis, who was the son of an Anglican minister and who had studied theology himself during his years at Oxford University. He was a retired colonial administrator, formerly of East Africa, who was married to Ermintrude, named Alla with whom he had four children. Veronica then returned to India, where Tozer was born. He lived his first four years in India, thanks to the generosity of Princess Yusha. At the age of three, he picked out the notes of Beethoven's Appassionata Sonata, which his mother had been teaching a pupil. He moved with his mother and older brother Peter to Melbourne, where Veronica taught him Beethoven. Bach and Bartok. He attended St. Joseph's Parish School, Malvern, and then De La Salle College, Malvern. In 1962, at the age of eight, Tozer performed Bach's Concerto No. 5 in F minor with the Victorian Symphony Orchestra under Clive Douglas, in a concert that was televised nationally on ABC TV. In April 1964, at Melbourne's Nicholas Hall, he performed the same concerto with the Astra Orchestra under George Logie Smith. In February 1965 he performed the Haydn Piano Concerto in D before a live audience at the Myra Music Bowl, a performance which can be heard on the disc issue to coincide with his Celebration 40 tour in 2004. Within four years he had played all five Beethoven concertos. While Tozer was undoubtedly affected by the deaths of his mother in 1996, and his longtime manager Ruben Feinberg in 1997, it is debatable whether, as some obituaries claimed, he became unwell but carried on. According to his medical records, his illness did not become apparent until at least seven years after the death of his mother. On August 21, 2009, he died from liver disease at the East Malvern House in Melbourne in which he lived as a child, having been released from the Alfred Hospital the previous week. He was survived by four of five siblings. A public memorial service was held on October 1, 2009 at St. Patrick's Cathedral, Melbourne. In a stinging address that lasted 45 minutes, the former Prime Minister, Paul Keating, said that Oser, deserved to be remembered alongside the Australian triumvirate of Nellie Melba, Percy Granger and Joan Sutherland, 
he was treated with indifference, contempt and malevolence by the Melbourne and Sydney Symphony Orchestras. The people who chose repertoire for those two orchestras and who had charge of the selection of artists during this period should hang their heads in shame at their neglect of him. If anyone needs a case example of the bitchiness and preference within the arts in Australia, here you have it. Keating described the death of Tozer as like Canada having lost Glenn Gould, or France, Jeanette Nauvoo. It is a massive cultural loss, the kind of loss people felt when Germany lost Dresden. He compared Tozer to the pianist Samuel Giles, author Rubinstein, Sviatoslav Richter, Ferrasio Bsoni, Artur Schnabel, and the soprano Maria Callas, who died alone in Paris in 1977. Keating said, in the end, his liver failed. But I think I have to say we all let him down. We should have cared more and done more.